Hi kids! I'm Christy. And I'm Carla. And today we're going to be teaching you about relativity and how it works. Relativity is the dependence of various physical phenomena on relative motion of the observer and observed objects. Many normal people like us today were asking the same exact question. They were eager to uncover this mystery of relativity. But what was this question that they asked? The question is, if an event takes place and two people see it from two different spots, how can they agree on when and where it happened? I don't know, Carla. Tell me, tell me. Well, lucky for us, great contributor and founder to science, Italiano Galileo Galilei, mamma mia grazie mille, quanto sei bello, uh, was asking the same exact question. Galileo Galilei, he's Italian, Italiano, like me. He was determined to solve this great mystery known as the central problem of relativity. Now, let's walk and talk about what this means. What he believed is that you can't di differentiate between an immobile body and a body that's moving at constant speed. You can only determine that the body is relative to another. But you're not able to tell which body is moving and which body isn't moving. Crazy, right? Now for Einstein's theory of relativity. Einstein was a Jewish physicist who started studying the theory of relativity when he was actually just 16 years old. 16? That's my age! Yeah, Andrea, he was just like you. The only difference is, he was a genius. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Anyways, although he didn't create this theory, he made a huge contribution that led to his exposure. Year 1905, Albert Einstein created this theory and based on two principles, special relativity and general relativity. So, let's start with special relativity. What is special relativity? Einstein's special theory of relativity has to do with what is relative and what is absolute about time, space, and motion. Its situations are extremely special because it concerns only special situations, special observers, and special questions of relativity and absoluteness. Special? Oh, so like me? Oh, no, don't be silly now. Special relativity is the physical theory of space and time. It's based on two postulates, that all special laws of physics are equally valid in all frames of reference moving at a uniform velocity, and that the speed of light from a uniformly moving source is always the same, regardless of how far or slow the source of its observer is moving. Sounds complicated, right? Well, let's break it down. So basically, Einstein explains that if two people, let's say Jake and Peggy, um, are moving in different spaceships and want to compare their observations, you see, all that really matters is how fast um, they're both going, so with, with respect to each other. But the reason why this theory is so special is because in order for special relativity to actually be in play, you must be moving in a straight line at an absolute speed. Once you change speeds or directions, the whole um, special relativity just ceases to apply. Oh, I think I'm starting to get it, but I think that I need an example. Oh, not to worry, Andrea, I've got you covered. So. This theory of special relativity created a fundamental connection between time and space. The universe has three space dimensions. One time dimension, known as the space-time continuum. If you are moving fast through space, the observations you make about the time and space will be different from the other individuals that are making observations about time and space as well. For example, this boy, Jake, he's traveling through space at half the speed of light at a constant speed. Since his speed is constant, he can't even feel himself moving. He believes his light beam shoots straight up and down through space. However, Peggy, on the other hand, is spying on him. And what she sees is actually that his light beam shot up and then back down in a diagonal pathway. Jake and Peggy see different pathways that are not the same length. Well, what does this mean? Obviously, they're going to see different pathways if they're observing from different locations. If they're not the same length, the times must also be different, so that you can both agree on the speed of light. This 
phenomenon in no, is known as time dilation, where the time on a spaceship moving very quickly appears to pass slower when observing from Earth. Overall, Einstein's theory of relativity proves that space and time are intimately linked together. So, light always moves at the same speed and the laws of physics remain constant. To put it simply, general relativity is the idea that massive objects can create a distortion within space-time, that the force of gravity is actually the curvature of space and time. For example, if you were to put a heavy object into the center of a trampoline as a representation of a white dwarf star, it causes the trampoline to dip down towards the center of the trampoline and it creates a distortion within the flat surface. So what's happening here is that space is being bent to accommodate the large door star. So if you put a golf ball in and let it roll, it will circle around and end up into the middle of the trampoline. So what you're trying to say is the golf ball circles around the ball and ends up in the center of the trampoline where the dip takes place? Yes. Oh! So when it passes the door star, it does not go in a straight line, but instead it curves and go off to the side. This applies to the sun and earth and how it's not gravity, but space-time warp that causes the, sun, the earth to go around the sun. Oh, I didn't see you there. Now that I have the chance, I'll tell you about general relativity. The thing is that we use general relativity in everyday life, such as the GPS. So... Hey! Eyes on the road! I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so there's 24 satellites orbiting the Earth, each carrying an atomic clock. For the GPS to figure out the location, the distance between the GPS receiver and the satellites are calculated. The atomic clocks on the GPS satellites run faster than clocks on Earth's surface, a form of time dilation. Well, I'm Carla. And I'm Christy. Thanks for watching. Until next time.